Welcome back to Malamic Art. My name is Mickey, and today I am reviewing the very last core set that I have, which is the High Chroma set. And I have been waiting to do these um, because I I don't know the High Chroma uh, sort of puts me off a little bit. Like these colors are going to be so bright that I'm not going to like them. <laughs> but and Mitty says hi. Hi, Mitty. Hi. And um, so I just decided to go ahead and do them because, um, I don't know, it's time. Time to get them out of the box. So here is the set. Now a little bit on Core. Core has, um, is from Golden and Golden has made Core. Core makes watercolors. Um, they don't have gum arabic, they have what's called aquazol, which is a synthetic binder that none of us know what's in there. Some some family secret. Um, and Core is still relatively new, so you won't see pigment information or light fast information on their charts yet. Um, however, they still they have a few um, that have gone through the um, the uh, ASTM and um, have this little label on it that says conforms to the ASDM um, and if the ASDM hasn't graded the light fastness on these then they have and it, they have their own um, grading scale which is from excellent to fair I think yeah excellent to fair and the ASDM will, will grade it them from one to I think three for light fastness um, so, okay, so let's see what we've got. I'm going to be swatching these today on this Strathmore Vision watercolor paper. And, um, I've said before that it doesn't have a lot of tooth, and it really doesn't. It's just, it's really thick paper though, so I like it. It works well, um, with watercolors, but if you want any sort of tooth to it, then you'll be disappointed. So, but I like them. It's not bad. I will do some work on this um, in the future. And you get a whole lot of paper. And they also give you this, this optional cover for you to personalize. So there's that. Don't listen to her. She's completely fed. Right? You're fed. You've had your treats. <laughs> Crazy cat lady here. So in this set, they give you Cridacodon Gold. Transparent Pyro Orange, Cranacridone Magenta, Dioxazine Purple, Cobalt Teal, and a Green Gold, which I'm curious about. So I am going to set this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm ready to do the swatches, and away we go. Now they're still a little bit wet. I think they've set just like maybe a half an hour, but they're they're still going to be really wet. So I'm going to first wet a spot, and then go for it. This so this is green gold. It's PY 129 light fast. This is. Uh, Rated by Golden is good. So it's definitely a green gold. Very, very vibrant when diluted. I almost venture to say that's a little bit semi transparent. That water just comes right down, so I'm assuming that's staining as well, and possibly um, granulating. Okay, so here's their quinacridone gold, and their quinacridone gold is made of PO48 and PY150. Light fastness is considered a two, which is not <clears throat> excellent. 
Let's see if we care. I got some of this on my finger. It didn't really try to... It didn't want to come off. Wow, that's pretty. Huh. Okay, I'm trying to think of what I could use this for and I'm thinking... I can't wait to do the color mixing. It's definitely transparent. Try not to clang. The next is Dax is in purple, and it is PV23, and the light passes. It, oops, I got a lot on there. I think this happened to me next last time I had a Dax is in purple. Wow, really, really deep, rich color there. I don't even know where to. Okay. So that's a definite deep, dark color. Let's see if I can scrape some away to get some of that lighter tone. visible. A little, get, a little bit goes a long way. Okay, the next is Transparent Pyro Red. I'm um, sorry, Orange. <laughs> transparent Pyro Orange, and this is PO71. Light fastness is good. That is super vibrant. See if I can get a little darker on the top here. Very pretty. So next is Cobalt Teal PG50. Light fastness, excellent. Some of its friend in there. Let's see if I can get it out. Okay. So that's definitely a staining color. I think probably all of these are staining with the, you know, the big high chroma talk they have. That's pretty too. It's really nice next to that orange. But I didn't plan it that way. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, this is Quinacridone Magenta PR122. Light fastness, excellent. You see, I'm only touching this slightly, and I'm getting like a big bold smash of color. So that's really pretty. I wish there's a little bit more tooth to this paper. There you have the quick swatches. Next thing I want to do is um either prove people right or debunk a myth that um, that re-wetting them results into in a duller um, color. So I kind of want to do that right now. So this first one is Pyro Red. And these were completely dry. Oops, good thing I got it right there. So this is um, Pyro Red. Uh, ah. Stuff is so bright, it gets on everything. Okay. 
Next is Alizarin Crimson. And some more water. And this Alizarin Crimson sticks around for a long time. I had some stuck to this palette for ages, so I just kept using it. So here's Alizarin Crimson. After completely dry. Next is Hansa Yellow, which is, I haven't really been telling you the pigments, but I think you can, from where you are at, I think you can read what's on there. So here's Hansa Yellow. I think I got some orange in there. Oops. Yeah, I must have dipped a red in there at one point. Darn it. <laughs> there goes my controlled experiment. Well, anyway, here's a line of color underneath. And next is Burnt Sienna. And I'm going to be going over the pyro red dot there, so keep that in mind. These really re-wet, reconstitute well. This one has a little bit of granulation to it, which is nice. And next is Thalo Blue. This was the introductory set, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. Oh wait. What do I have? I have ultramarine blue. Whoops. I'm wondering why that looks that way. And next is Thalo Blue. So these were wet, re wet right from the pan. That were these were dried for like weeks. Honestly, I don't see much difference when they dry. I mean, I mean if you get picky, there's going to be a little bit of a change. But these are still wet. Let me dry these. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're fairly dry now. Um, honestly, I don't really see much difference between them being dried in a pan and used and being used straight from the tube. So it's completely up to you, but um, I think I just debunked that myth. So, okay, moving on. Now that I've got all these beautiful colors, I want to do a color mixing chart. And um, I'm going to start with that and it's time-lapse with all these beautiful colors. Look at this. It looks like some granulation happening with the cobalt teal and the rest are pretty pretty fine. I don't see any other granulation in the other ones. Maybe a teeny tiny bit in aquatic room gold. Look how pretty that turned out. Okay, we'll see you after the color mixing chart. So here's the color chart that I completed and I think there's some really cool color differences here. This is cobalt teal and um, cranacodrome gold and look at this, this cobalt teal and which one is it? It's um, the orange. It's really neat kind of big, um, Variegation, yeah, in the cut the uh, 
<laughs> the swatches. Um, so yeah, you're gonna get a lot of really cool uh, granulation, not granulation, but um, separation. Yeah, that's what it is. So I thought that these were a little bit too flat because of this paper. So I had actually gone and grabbed another piece of cold press paper to swatch them out on again. And it's really pretty much the same. So it's really not the paper's fault. I did go heavier on the Quedachrome Gold. But all in all, these are really cool, very bright colors. It kind of makes me want to draw something with them. Draw paint, whatever. And um, if I do, it probably will make this video very, very long. So let me think about that. And if I don't, I'll see you in the next video. And if I do, I'll see you in the next video anyway, because you'll just see that at the end. I hope you had a wonderful day, and I will see you in another video. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next one.